Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. So this video is dedicated to the lady behind me at Whole Foods. I'm just kidding, it's nothing bad. So I was talking to the checker about how he should let his customers know that if you have any special dietary uh, restrictions, like you're on a gluten-free diet or you can't eat dairy and so therefore you're getting substitutes, you can actually write that off as a tax deduction. She was like, behind me, I was like, what, what, what? So when she was looking at me crazy, I thought she was gonna tell me she knows me because everybody thinks they know me. Everybody thinks I'm their cousin. I went to school with them. And so I'm used to people kind of be like, oh, about to say something to me. But anyway, so I told her I was gonna do a video just for her because it's something that I've been wanting to talk about because after reading that book that I told you guys about that you have to read, my friend said it was absolutely life-changing for her. Five Lessons a Millionaire Taught Me. So one of the lessons is know where your money is going, your ins and your outs. So what that did was made me much more scrupulous. Scru scru <laughs> scrup <laughs> much more aware of my tax deductions. Now, first, let me say taxes are important, but you should get your rightful deductions. Number two, consult your own tax preparer because it may not apply to you. So when I make a purchase, I ask myself, is there anything that I can write off as a tax deduction? And if I think there may be, I keep it. And what I do is as soon as I go home, I make a denotation, if you can see there. So you see I have a letter there, M is for medical, and then there is the number amount, which is, says 11. So you round up or down to the closest dollar. So my tax person said that you don't have to put, you know, like 2016, just put $20. So for me, M is medical. And a lot of my deductions go under the umbrella of medical. So here's an example. Last year, we, brought, we bought a portable AC for my bedroom because I have asthma that's induced by high humidity. And I asked my tax person, I said, can I write this off? Because this is a medical necessity. He said, absolutely. So when I buy over-the-counter drugs, this receipt was for Bed Bath & Beyond. I bought a night guard because I have TMJ and I have to wear it every night. So that went under my medical expense. So then what we do is because I have them already calculated, all we have to do is do a whole sum before we do our taxes. And then it's super easy. And my tax guy just wants to know the full amount for all the different categories that he gives us. And then we do hold on to the receipts just in case we need them. So here's another example of something that you could possibly write off say you need to pull up your carpet because you have asthma, you could possibly write that off. There are all kinds of write-offs that you're not even thinking about. So just something to be aware about it. So let me know if there's something that you are writing off that I don't know about and see what the tax man has you doing, okay? See you soon. Bye.